Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to another episode of the science class. I am Cikgu Roni and this is a video lesson for science year 3. Before we move on to our topic, we shall recite doa Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri. Wahlul Ondatam Minisani of Kohu Kauli, Robbi Zilini Alma, Warzuni Fahma, Wasalam Wahala Sayyidina Muhammad, Wala Alihi Wasabi Wasalam, Walhamdulillah Robbil Alameen. So moving on to our topic for this week would be we move on to a new topic that is Unit 2 A Clean Environment and with the subtopic of a clean home but before we move on to our topic a clean home we shall identify objects or items that can be used for cleaning and then we shall identify the action words that can be used when using cleaning objects and then we shall identify areas or rooms in our homes Okay, what we need to do this in this video would be to talk about the objects that we can use for cleaning and then we talk about rooms in our home. So moving on to objects or items that we can use for cleaning. So here we shall divide into objects or items and then we shall identify the action words that can be used for the objects. So the first objects would be this one, and this is called a cleaning cloth. Cleaning clothes. One would be cleaning cloth. Many cleaning clothes. So the action, the word that we can use when we are using this item would be to wipe or to clean. So you use this item to wipe things when you are cleaning okay next object would be this object or oh, you have another or this or maybe this there are many different types of these objects and this is called a broom i remember that my grandmother my late grandmother used to make this uh, penyapu lidi in malay penyapu lidi my late grandmother used to make this um, using coconut leaves. Okay? So the one beside it, this one, beside the broom would be a dustbin. So when this is a broom, so we identify that object beside the broom as um, dustbin. And what action word that we can use with this object it would be to sweep, only to sweep. We use this object to sweep things, okay? Sweep, S-W-E-E-P. So for you children, you must remember these words and the spelling. Broom, dustbin, and sweep. Excellent. So moving on to a new uh, object would be this one. I believe that you have this at home. Or maybe you have this kind or a more modern one <coughs> or maybe something more expensive. I think this is more expensive and more automated. If I'm not mistaken, <coughs> sorry, if I'm not mistaken, this one is called Roomba. I'm not sure I do not have a Roomba. I do have the red one, yes. Um, but I do not have this one. It's automated. It can use to do things. And these objects, all of these are called the same thing. That is a vacuum cleaner. And a vacuum cleaner, the action word for a vacuum cleaner, what we can do with these objects, we can vacuum. That's the word. We don't sweep. Now remember, Certain objects have certain action words that we can use. Example, like I said just now, broom, sweep for broom. For vacuum, 
cleaner, vacuum cleaner, you vacuum. Excellent. Now moving on to a new object, cleaning object. These are objects used for cleaning. Example, this one. This one is a something or maybe another one, a different kind but the same thing. Actually, it's different design but the same thing. Or maybe you have this at home, the one with a sprayer. If I'm not mistaken, I do not have this. I only have the first one. Okay, these objects are called mop, M-O-P, mop. And mop, when you want to use a mop, the action word comes with these objects is mop, just mop. So you, you, you mop something with a mop. So another object that we can use for cleaning would be this one or this one or these objects. Years ago, I believe I used to see this. This is called a feather duster. And the action words that come with a feather duster would be to sweep. Um, to sweep what? To sweep things using a feather duster. Obviously, you can see from this word, feather duster. So, to sweep what? To sweep dust. Dust means habuk. So, feather duster. Uh, next object that we need to learn is this one. Some kind of things. Or this one, obviously, everyone knows what is this. And these are called toilet brush. And you use some toilet brush in the toilet, obviously. And the action word that you can use with a toilet brush would be to brush or to clean. Now, if you see here, clean, clean, C-L-E-A-N, we can use clean in a few things. In Malay, clean would be membersihkan. So, clean would be membersihkan. So, you, you use this to clean. It's the same like um, cleaning cloth. You can use cleaning cloth to clean. So, you can use the same word. Sometimes, clean can be used in other things. Membersihkan. So, for this object, toilet brush, you use brush and clean okay so another objects of the cleaning object that we need to learn is this one and i believe that you know what this is and also comes with this okay more or less the same is quite is different but almost the same the function is almost the same so this is a sponge or the brown one would be scrub pad scrub pad this one is scrub pad and the other one is a sponge okay the action word that we can use with these objects would be to scrub you don't wipe with a scrub pad you scrub things usually something that is very hard to clean okay or maybe you clean things with a sponge so both both of these action words can be used with these cleaning objects. Okay. Next objects that we need to learn would be this object. Obviously, you know what this is, and this and this object. So these are two items. One is a garbage bin, and another one is a garbage plastic. So the black one, obviously, a garbage plastic, okay? But just to, to tell you, there's a difference in English language between British and American. So we, Brunei, we use British English. And American English, they use a different word that is trash can, if I'm not mistaken. American use trash we use garbage and american use trash means the same actually garbage and trash is the same have the same meaning okay 
So the word that we use when we are using these objects are to throw rubbish. We throw rubbish in this object, okay? We throw rubbish only that. We don't sweep with this rubbish. We don't we don't wipe with this object. No, we only use this to throw our rubbish. Okay. Next objects that we need to learn cleaning object would be water. Water is also used for cleaning, of course. Um, now we use water when we use water we say we wash or we clean we wash with water we don't wash with a dustbin but you wash with water okay how we use it we shall learn it next week now next object would be this one this is called a rake 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 uh, in Malay would be pencakar, pencakar, they say, pencakar. So the action word, when we use this object, the word we use is, the action word that we can use would be rake. It's the same word as the object, the same spelling. So it means that to rake something, mencakar sesuatu, uh, okay? Like in this picture. So rake would rake something, okay? Next object, what we need to have when we clean something or we do a cleaning campaign, we need to have also these objects. These two objects are basket and box. The black basket or box. And we usually need these two put things. Okay, when we use this, we use these objects to put our things, things that we want to clean, okay? And the last, I, I believe it's the last object that we need to have when we want to clean things would be your hands. You do not need to write that. I will teach you how to write the sentences in the future, but you need to have hands, okay? And hands, you uh, the action word is to put something or to arrange things. To put or to arrange. Arrange means susun. Put means simpan. Arrange susun. Okay? So we shall move on to identify areas or rooms in a home. So we start with a picture of our home. It our home might not be the same. Some have bigger homes, so bigger rooms, many rooms, but others has, have normal homes like I do. Now, but more or less, we do have the same rooms. Example would be bedroom. We do have bedrooms, and we do have living room, and we do have kitchen. Sometimes, bigger homes have dining room. And we also have bathroom and toilet. Sometimes, usually, not sometimes, usually we have the same bathroom. In the bathroom, we also have a toilet. Or sometimes they have different, different bathroom and different toilets. Okay? So, bigger homes have laundry room. Laundry room, I will explain later. And most of us have storeroom. And we do have house compound that I will explain later. And also we do have garage. Okay, moving on to more detailed explanation on our home. We start with bedroom. This is example, an example of our bedroom. And things, we have things in our bedroom. Example, a desk. Maybe you have, maybe you're not, doesn't really matter. But usually people have desks in their bedrooms. And we do have books. And we do have cupboard. And we do have a bed especially. Maybe you have aircon, maybe you have fans or a window. But more or less the same. Okay. And you usually, for kids like you, you usually have 
toys in your bedroom. Okay, next room would be living room. And in the living room, we do have a sofa. And then we do have lamp. Sometimes we do have a table lamp and a table, yeah, of course. And television is common in the living room. Okay, sometimes, let me explain, sometimes people have a different room for watching TV. So it depends, but usually we do have television in our living room. And we usually have a cupboard or book rack uh, in our living room to put our books. It depends on uh, how big is your house. Sometimes you do not have that, but usually people with normal houses have a cupboard or book rack in their living room. Okay, moving on to another room that is kitchen. Now, this is a small kitchen. Yours might be bigger, and this is an example of a kitchen. So, in a kitchen, we do have a refrigerator. And we do have table and chairs sometimes. I know this also depends. Sometimes you do not have table and chairs in the kitchen. Maybe the kitchen is small or maybe you have your own dining room. Okay. And we usually have dishes in the kitchen. Dishes means pinggan mangkuk. Dishes, pinggan mangkuk. Okay. And then we do have oven. Your mother have oven and a cupboard okay usually this is what we have in our kitchen and we have sink sink okay sink of course we do have sink in our kitchen now next <coughs> dining room now like, like i said just now sometimes we have dining room it depends on what kind of home that you have if you have bigger house so you, you have dining room, but like mine, a normal house, I don't have a special room for dining. Dining room mean, means this, bilik makan. Bilik makan, I do not have bilik makan. I do have this, uh, meja makan, yes, I do have this one, but I do not have specific room for a dining room. So in a dining room, or maybe in also in the living room, you do have glass door or windows and then you have dining table and you have dining chairs so it depends a normal home not too big house we do not have a special room called dining room maybe a bigger home you have dining room okay next room that we want to talk about would be bathroom and that is a shower okay Maybe yours is not like this. Maybe yours is different. But we have more or less the same object. We do have mirror and we do have a sink here. And we do have a toilet. More or less the same for all houses in Brunei Darussalam. Maybe a bit different like this one. Water heater. I do not have water heater. So... Maybe a bigger home have water heater. Next. Now, toilet. We shall talk about toilet. This is just a toilet without the shower. Like I said just now, sometimes people have different room for their toilet. Like this one, toilet with sink. Okay. So, that's a mirror, a sink, and a toilet. Okay. Next room, we shall talk about laundry room. Like I said, not all houses have laundry room. So this one laundry room means tempat cuci baju, a specific room to wash clothes. Okay, here is the rack and basket and washing machine. So you do have this in the laundry room. I do not have the laundry room. Maybe you do, okay? A bigger home. Maybe you do have a laundry room, a different, a separate room for washing clothes. 
And next one would be a storeroom. Uh, usually we have this, unluckily mine no, but usually people have this storeroom. Storeroom is to store things like this one, store, store. So we have lots of things in our stores. I cannot mention, maybe in different houses, you have different things in your stores. Next room would be house compound. This is not a room, but an area around your house like that one, kawasan rumah. Kawasan rumah, okay? Kawasan rumah in English would be house compound. And in a house compound, we do have grass or drains. Drains means longkang, drains and gardens taman bunga maybe not that big but it also called garden a bit of flowers ada bunga-bunga maybe kebun-kebun sikit sayur so that is called garden okay next area that we want to talk about is the garage we do have garage like this and what a garage do would be to park your father's car or your mother's car and sometimes you store things, you put your things in a garage. If your garage is closed, have a closed door, the door see here, here. Uh, so you can put things. If your garage is more or less like this, so you don't, you can't really put things there. But sometimes you put your bicycle, maybe, maybe a bicycle or things like horses. Yeah, usually that happens. So this is a garage that we have at home. Okay, now excellent. Now for week 10, week 10 exercises, I have provided you with Microsoft form. You can print out the slides above and print out and put in your file or in your textbook, but you should do the exercise provided. So recap week 10 lesson objects or items that we can use for cleaning we learn about cleaning clothes we learn about dustbin and broom or broom and dustbin we learn about vacuum cleaner we do learn about mop we learn about feather duster we learn about toilet brush we learn about sponge and scrub pad we did learn about rag and we also learn about garbage bin and garbage plastic and we need water for cleaning and we also need your hands your pair of hands to do these things to clean things okay now the action word that we can use to identify cleaning when we use things that things just now we wipe or we clean sweep vacuum, mop, brush, wash, rake, throw rubbish, put and arrange, and one more, no more, put and arrange, okay, put and arrange, excellent, now we have learned activity words, we did learn about the objects or items that we can use when we want to clean things, and the next one is we learn about the rooms in our house or our homes. We learn about bedroom, living room, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, toilet, laundry room, storeroom, house compound, and garage. So these words that you have learned in this video, you have to remember it so we can use this next week in our lesson next week okay thank you for watching the lesson you may subscribe to my youtube video my youtube channel the science class brunei like and share this video with your family and friends and if you have questions for me you can Send me a message in my TikTok at Chiguroni. Follow me. Send me a message. Tag me. Tell me your name. Tell me where you study, your school. 
and I, try, I will try to answer your primary science questions as soon as possible. Okay, thank you for watching this lesson. We shall meet again next week, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.